We are live, apparently. So, hello today, everybody. It has been a while since we have done a live video on YouTube. Yeah, it's definitely live now. And uh, Grandad, today is Brighton versus Villa. Um, how are you feeling about today's game? If you can beat Arsenal, we can beat Brighton, right? I think that's how you got a view about it. You'd have hoped that we could have done better against West Ham. We didn't, but then they're on fire, aren't they? So it's just one of those, those things. Um, I think the table doesn't lie. I think Brighton are kind of down there a little bit, aren't they? But yeah. they're hard to beat. Aren't they like one loss in six or something? Something yeah, like that. I think. pretty much. Well, no, yeah, they, 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 haven't lost, they haven't lost in five games. So Exactly that. But how many have they won of those? Do, uh, do three we and drawn two. Okay, so, all, so it's, good ball. it's good ball for them, isn't it? Uh, yeah. But they are in 16th place, right? So 20, 20 viewers in the first minute, guys. Hello, everyone that has joined the stream just as the game's kicking off. Shout out to you guys. Um, so, uh, yeah, how are you guys feeling about today's game? Um, obviously, Brighton versus Villa should be... A very interesting game, to say the least. Whenever we do play Brighton, it seems to be a good game. Of course, we had those... App I'm going to talk more about this later on in the video. But there's absolute scenes at Brighton away last year where we drew 1-1. Craziest away game um, of the season for me, travelling there when we were in Brighton. I'll we'll talk more about that. Of course, when Matty Cash scores one of his only goals for Villa in the last minute, where... Do you remember that granddad at Villa Park? Um well, we did not deserve that at all. I don't know if you remember the game, but we didn't deserve wow. the goal. We got the goal in the last minute, which was crazy again. Um, well, well, that game, well, the, 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 you're talking about the home game, right? The 1-0 win. Yeah. I was, in, Lanzarote. I was in Lanzarote. I was in a bar. It was packed out with the faithful. And we're all going crazy. Just keep going, keep going. You can imagine when that goal went in. Because I think it was me and me. It was me earlier. Were you there? Me and Annie and someone else. It might have been Jess. I think it was Jess. And, um, yeah, so, and obviously when we, yeah, we did lose to Brighton early on in the season. Once again, a very entertaining game. So it does seem to be when we play Brighton, it seems to be a very good game. And hopefully that can happen today. I'm just looking at the, the kits now, Grandad. Have you seen how, uh, is it, wait, let me have a look. I think how light our shorts are today. I don't know what that's about. It's never usually like that, is it? Look at the blue lights. Oh, well, yeah, but I mean, not, like, if you think about it, our kit is normally white shorts, right? So we can't wear white oh, shorts because they yeah. get white shorts. So we have to play in, in, in light blue, right? Which, which is normal, right? Yeah. I think given a choice, I'd rather see them playing black. Yeah, like your black shirt. Yeah. I think I'd have preferred that, really. Fantastic shirt. i got one as well. Yeah. Well, come on, put your mouth. Uh, where are you on, on time wise? Just one, so we know how we one are. 1.30. Okay, I'm a few seconds ahead, that's all. So that's good. Yep. What are you? Yeah. Well, I'm 1.37. Uh, I'm on 1.42 now. 1.42. That's all right. That's fine. We're close, we're close enough, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Ollie Ollie Watkins. Watkins. I've just got it where <laughs> Ollie Watkins. I just want to, well, gave away a foul there. Um, so, what we also in the chat, someone said, so depressed after the Liverpool game. Assume you're a Leicester fan. Um, no, a Liverpool fan, sorry, not a Leicester fan. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I actually really hope Liverpool would have won that because, obviously, my mates are Leicester fans. So I was actually talking to them when the game was on. Said it's you, Grandad. But, um, I'm, yeah, I'm sad that uh, Liverpool didn't win because it would have been funny. But, but anyway... Mm. So two minutes into the well, game. Yeah, but then I don't want. But then I don't like Liverpool, right? So yeah, you don't do it for me. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. standard lineup for us today. I was. I thought Sanson might might get a game. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, I don't uh, know. We'll, we'll find his feet. I guess. I guess what you could say. But look at our squad. We don't need to change it. Uh, we've got obviously a very good midfield, a squad that knows what they're doing together, which obviously we haven't seen in recent years. Someone said. Come on, the Villa. Yeah, come on. Villa, come on. Yeah. Um, yeah, come on, guys. Keep it coming. This Southampton fan says, remember oh. to leave a like and subscribe if you knew. Totally agree with that. You know, do that if you were, obviously, yeah, if you're watching the stream, which obviously you guys are. Um, so, 
Yes. You know, like I, watch, I, 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 I was watching Sansom in the West Ham game at the end. And I mean, I know he came on late with about five minutes to go, I think. Well, it wasn't much more, was it? And he was like completely lost. He didn't, he didn't know where to go. He didn't know who to mark. He didn't know what to do. So I think, I think you know, he's, he's a good player. There's not, I don't think there's any doubt about it. He, but he needs to learn how we play, what our style is, what to do when we haven't got the ball, who he has to, you know, where he needs to be. Yeah. Oh, God, sorry. And then, and then I think like, once he's got that, he'll get his chance. And Although then, and I then was we'll saying this on. in the, um, the video I did about him, Grandad, maybe... I don't know if this is true, but obviously, if obviously Barkley is on loan uh, from Chelsea for us, so maybe Dean Smith's thinking if we can't sign him on a permanent, maybe you know Sanson's already there, he'll know the squad by now ish. So maybe that's the reason why um, it's like a long term investment. But it's hard for him because obviously he's French coming into a new league, previously been on been in league, and it's hard for him. Uh, but he'll get there eventually, eventually. As, of course, we've already seen with Villa, it takes a while for the new signings to gel together, for them to come in the team because, you know, last season they didn't start getting together in the first nine months, like, you know, fully knowing each other properly. So it's hard, but yeah. Well, I think if, if you think about it, our, our strength has come from mid, mid midfield. Louise, Barkley, Jack, McCamber when, when he's come in. And, and maybe having another mid midfield player has got to help you because you know, like we know Mings, uh, sorry, uh, we know McGinn can, can get injured. We certainly know Barkley can get injured. Yeah. And like I think McCamber a, is a good, tight, strong midfielder, isn't he? But he's not a flair player. You want him in games like this where you've got to fight for your uh, midfield dominance. And I think having a bit of a style player who can come in instead of a McGinn, instead of a Jack, that would be ideal for us. So I think he was a good buy. But he's um, a all very round, well-rounded player. Obviously, like, it, obviously, McGinn's definitely more of a box-to-box, -box, you know, does it all the hard work in midfield. Barkley's more, obviously, attacking midfielder, likes to be up front with Barkley and that. Um, and then, obviously, Louise Nakamba likes to stay back. Um, Santon's more in the middle. He can go forward. He can go back. He can defend. He can go forward. goals. Yeah, he can. He scored, like, I think he scored. Oh, come on, Villa, push him yards. back. We haven't even talked about the game so far. Five minutes in, obviously nothing's actually happened. But um, Brighton, well, it's, Brighton it, it's Brighton pr uh, pressurising right? a lot more than us. For mm. sure. One thing I would but say, is, right? I don't know if this is he's done this on purpose, but I actually feel like Douglas Louise is shaped up and like, looks like he's lost a bit of weight. To be honest, I'm not even going to lie. Like looks a bit more musclier. Looks like he obviously wants it more. I don't know if that's intentional, but who's that, Louise? Yeah. Yeah, no, I was, oh, God, is that down? Oh, is that, is that Watkins? Isn't Watkins. It? Watkins has gone in. There's a foul for Brighton and Watkins has stayed down. Oh, he's so... He's... We do not want Watkins injured. Jesus Christ. We need... Do you know what I think? We should have signed a backup striker in January because we've got no backups. Who are we going to play? Keelan Davies up front? We need a backup striker. Yeah. Just, I don't know, someone that's there. The strange thing about Davis, when you when you watch him, he's quick. He likes to get close to defenders. He gets random, but he's not close. He's not a finisher, is he? Right. No. He just misses that 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 little bit that's going on. And you know, like your uh, your mate, what's his name, Barry? Um, the, there's talk about him playing some games. I actually think when 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 we get over, come on, corner three kicks coming in. Come on, Villa, get it away. But I think once we away. Yeah, go I on, think Harry. once we get, I think once once we get over forty points, so you know you're staying up, everything's yeah, comfortable. Yeah, so this, I was looking I at actually, that's literally two wins, and we're pretty much guaranteed safe. Well, not guaranteed, but we're pretty much safe. Pretty much two wins, and talking about that, we're on thirty-five points this season. Last season, we ended the season on thirty-five points, so we need one point in the rest of the whole of the season to. Beat obviously last season's record, and we're only what halfway just gone halfway through the season, and we're already on the same points that we ended on last season. It's just the improvement of the signings. Obviously, Trezeguet came in, was very, very meh. El Ghazi last season was very average. The improvement of the signings in cash.
who I think is excellent. My favourite Villa player this season. I just I just really like him. Obviously, Watkins, Barkley, all signings have improved. Obviously, defensively, we've improved by... Actually, yeah. We have we have improved by an absolute long shot defensively. Like we are so much better going forward. We score more goals. We've got a better striker, and um, just all round, it's been insane this season. I mean, you, Granddad, didn't we say at the start of the season we just want a better season than last season? You know, even if we are still fighting relegation for most of the season. See, look at that, Matty Cash there. Boom! What a challenge going straight for the ball, straight for the player as well, actually. But still, <laughs> he loves the badge, Matty Cash. You know what they say. Fights for the badge. That's what my cash does. I love him. My favourite Villa player yeah. by Mar this season. I think the thing you've got to think about this season that's different to last season and the seasons before, we've only, we only bought those five players at the start of the season. Previous seasons, we've been buying 11, haven't we? And yeah. eight. And you, know, and you just take so many months to form up. This was one of the issues we all had with Steve Bruce. Oh, Brockham. Instant. Yeah, it's one. Of the, yeah, it's one of the problems with Bruce. Every every bloody transfer window, he would go and buy a shitload of players. Now I know, you know, Tony's here was, you know, he was in there. He had his money. He just he was happy to sort of buy, but he just unbalanced the team again and again. And I think Smith gets it. You've just got to have the smallest number you can get away with. Yeah, fit them into the pattern you've got. Make sure everybody knows who they are and where they're playing, and just don't. Overdo it. Don't overstretch your players. It's bad enough trying to keep everybody happy without having half a dozen new players trying to get in as well. That was a good head of miss, wasn't it? Yeah, well, Just talking about that, that, Veltzman into the box 10 minutes in and McAllister heads it over the bar. Brighton have definitely, I won't say definitely, but they've had more of the ball. They've had a couple more chances. And if one team in the first 10 minutes has been better, it probably has been Brighton, but it will improve. Trust me, we all know as Villa fans, it will improve as the game goes on. You just have to concentrate on it. Talking about teams not improving, what what is going on at Liverpool? I, was, I just think that, um, first of all, that injuries, obviously, elephant in the room, that's obviously not good. That is an issue. Oh, then um, They've had to bring players like Henderson, who's a boss in midfield, who knows what he's doing, who's experience obviously they've had to put him at the back to replace the likes of Van Dijk Fabinho which hasn't helped because in midfield they've got you know nothing they've got one Aldum Cater very average um and yeah they're just injuries have screwed them this season but also people say Klopp out which I think is very very harsh no, I don't think get rid of Klopp that's a that's that's a bit of a stupid thing isn't it, really yeah interestingly I've got friends who are Liverpool supporters well, I say they're friends. They wouldn't really be friends, would they? Otherwise, they wouldn't support well, Liverpool. My, you mom, know what I mean? my mom's business partner is a Liverpool fan, so I talk quite a lot of Liverpool with him a lot of the time. But yeah, um. yeah. So like, the, oh, the, the, the sort of guys I know, they're after actually saying Thiago is a problem. There's just something about him; he's just not right for the team. So he came in in the, in the summer, I think, did, uh, didn't he? Yeah, and he he just seems to have just unsettled them. Not, not that I'm worried about it for Liverpool's sake. Pfft. Couldn't care less. But it's just interesting that one player can upset the balance. We had a bit of that when Stan Collymore came to us. He was big lad, could do stuff, but just unbalanced us. A bit strange. There you go. Yeah. Come on, go uh, there. We need to push him back and start trying to get somewhere. At least we're playing in their half now, right? Which is, which is something. 12 minutes in. We haven't really had a shot. Uh, Brighton keepers a bit a bit dodgy so hopefully Watkins can trouble in but talking about Watkins obviously started the season with goals wise very very well well McAllister on the run here and he's had a shot from long range decent save from Martinez Brighton definitely had more shots than us and a little bit more of the ball but Watkins obviously goals wise was really good at the start of the season then he obviously went that dip where he didn't score for like eight seven games and now he's picking it back up again. Now he scored versus Burnley, he scored versus Arsenal. Who else did he score versus? He's got like four in like five games. So hopefully that continues. It's kind of weird, like, isn't it? Ollie I'm doesn't score. I'm embarrassed to be a Spurs fan. It's only Man City, mate. Don't worry. Ask him. We'll get there. Ask, him <laughs> what? Ask him why Bale. Ask him why Bale isn't playing. What is that about? He yeah, just I, I Bale isn't good. He's he's been. I he think came he's on been, late today, didn't he? 
Yeah, but he's been very, I think, flop isn't the right word, but I think he hasn't been to the standard people expect him. I've seen this thing that was really funny that made me laugh. Like, since Tottenham so, uh, sold Bale, what, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago, Greenish with a really good flick over, over the number 34. Oh, for... Unlucky, unlucky Villa. Like no, he's... it's the... I, I think Bale's played well at uh, Madrid. I really think he has. I think he's got frozen out and yeah. he's lost his appetite. He's got his money. Zidane, for whatever reason, just doesn't rate him. I, I, I don't understand it. And it sounds like Mourinho. You know, you would think Mourinho would get him in, get him into some games, get him going. And he's just not doing it, is it? I said it's been like know. whenever Spurs sold Bale for the past like five, six, seven years, they've been trying to constantly replace Bale and they've found a replacement for Bale, which is obviously Bale. Well, that made me laugh. But I think they're signed like <sighs> 10 different players, you know, kind of fulfil the role of where obviously it went wrong or they've sold him. But, it makes yeah. you wonder sometimes, doesn't it? You know, why sell your best players? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he did but good she, for him, but for Spurs, not so much. Well, oh, that's a foul, you guess, yeah. on Barkley. Free kick here for Villa, four, 15 minutes in. Barkley looks good in the Villa shirt, don't he? He wears it well. He does. What did you make of his bottle kicking antics? Well, I don't know. It's a, I, to be honest, I did think he'd be benched. He'd obviously sort out with Dean Smith. He's obviously apologised or whatever. But uh, it's, it's, it's good and bad because obviously shows he's very keen to play, shows he doesn't want to get taken off. But also, a little bit disrespectful, I guess you could say. I don't know. I think so. I think if you actually saw how Trez played when he came on, he was up and down that, that, that line, wasn't he? He was really coming back and helping Cash. You know, like we were getting, you know, we were getting pulled apart on, the, on, on our left. And Trez got into it. And he also created opportunities as well. So, like, he was unlucky, you know. There was the, the um, there was one one point where Ramsey got in, and if he'd have seen Trez coming in, right, it would, you know, he could have just played it down across the to, to the um, six six yard line for him. Didn't see him. Yeah. Real shame. I think he needed Trez in there, to be fair. And um, you know, Barkley was getting tired. Put a man on. He's got fuller legs and will charge up and down all day. Yeah. I think I'm guessing Smith would have spoken to him. Wouldn't they? Yeah, he wouldn't have just let him get away with it and not say anything. He must have said something. But um, yeah. apparently, apparently, Terry had a word word with him at, at the end of the game as well. Yeah, true. Well, but, uh, well, Brighton, although yes, the table doesn't really show it, and the run of results the whole of this season doesn't really show it. They are actually a fairly decent team. They've came to Villa Park like three times in the past three years, and they've. Every time they played very, well. very good. They played they very played good well. football. But the problem is with Graham Potter, he's, he is a good manager and a future England manager, I guess you could say. And um, he plays good football, but I think with Brighton, they haven't got the players to play the football he wants. Oh, oh. Bloody you know Watkins what I mean? again. They bloody chop Watkins again. What are they doing? He's having a look. Watkins is having a look at his own shin, Lewis Dunk. Oh, look at that. Dunks he's just got his foot on his on his on his shin and rode it's him horrible. into the ground. He's that definitely done really that. Bad. He's definitely done that on that purpose. Really That's the kind of thing VAR ought to be having a look at. That's at least a yellow. Yeah. Bloody hell, he doesn't give anything. Pratt. God, that's disgusting. Yeah, that is bad to be fair. He could have broke his leg there. I also think with Brighton, a big problem is for them, obviously, their goal scoring isn't it like I think they've can haven't scored like they've got like the second or third lowest goals in the Premier League this season, which obviously not good for them. Neil Moore pies their striker. Do you remember when we were very close to signing him? Do you remember was it the first season we came Moore up or was it the second? We were very yeah, close. No. He had a choice, didn't he, of actually coming to us or them. And they um he chose Brighton because because apparently they they loved him more, you know, they gave him more attention. Well, I think Smith, I think Smith more takes care of him. He doesn't, he doesn't love him. He doesn't have to do that, right? They got more get pay, they got Wesley, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which one would you rather have? More pay, <laughs> yeah, more pay Wesley, which one would you rather have, I wonder? I well, I don't know at the moment, do you? 
Well, we haven't seen Wesley play for about a year now, have we? So we can't really say now. But here we go. Cash on the left-hand side. Played to Barkley on the edge of the box. He gives oh, it to Douglas oh. Louise. He's going to wrap one. That's a corner. 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 He loves to have a shot, doesn't he, Douglas Louise? He loves it. Ever since he scored against Bournemouth on his debut, he just shoots every time he gets the chance, which is fair play, I guess. Doesn't really get that many opportunities. He was definitely on target, so it is a def good deflection, good block from the player. Well, you know, you know the um, Arsenal game, right? And you were listening to Arteta going on, we dominated, we dominated. Did you hear all that, right? But they yeah. didn't shoot, did they? They didn't no. shoot. They didn't, you know, I didn't, I don't remember if they had any shots from the edge of the box. He is very he biased, biased though, Arteta. Every game, he's obviously, because he's Arsenal ex-player, obviously manager, obviously love, must love Arsenal. Very biased. So into the box, the corner from Grealish, headed oh, away. Yeah. Target is going to pass it back here to Louise. 20 minutes into the game, oh. great ball from Louise out to Grealish, who can't get it in the box, but it's a free kick. See that pass from Louise, yeah, I know. And oh, Jack's pass. rolling around, and Jack is rolling around on, on, on the pitch, off the pitch. What a surprise! <laughs> well, no, it's not that, he just really classes him. It wasn't that bad, oh. he just bad timing, I assume. But we've got a free kick. Villa, obviously, dangerous from set pieces. We've got Mings. Come on, um, come on Villa. Conza, who scored. And this Conza scored two or three this season. Look at Jack. Look at the guys moaning at Jack. What was it the Arsenal game where, where they kept moaning at Jack and he was just laughing at them? Do you remember that? Might have been West Ham, I think. I think it was West Ham. Oh, was it West Ham? It was one of them, wasn't it? And he was just like going... <laughs> Who will win, Arsenal or Leeds? Uh, uh, oh, care? No. Okay, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably Arsenal. I'd go for. Traore into the box. Poor ball in. Away. Yeah, by right. Suma. It was, was, it was a poor ball, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, Greenish. Lost Jack, it. Jack, what are you doing? Yeah, no need well, for at least that. He, at least he's smiling. Oh, the guy's got a yellow card for it. It's probably yeah, oh, but he did he did get the sarcastic clap to be fair. So I don't know. He didn't exactly pull the guy around that that nah, much. Nah, he? he did. He just touched his arm. Exactly. Look at him. You'd have think you'd have just like punched him in the bloody chest. Come on, Jack. Take it easy. This is what I was saying about Sanson. How many midfielders have we got? That was so we're so powerful in the in the mid midfield. These kind of things are just stupid uh, um, cards to actually give away. Yeah. I think I prefer Jack to be the victim, not the bully. I guess so, yeah. <sighs> Come on, we got that. What's your thoughts on Traore, though? Obviously, a lot of opinions about him. Uh, more positive than negative now. But um, he's, very, he's spoken a lot about by Villa fans. A lot of people, he's like one of the main talking points. What do you think about him? I really like him. I think he took a little bit of time settling. I was a bit worried he might become like a codger, you know, gets the ball, keeps the ball, yeah. wants to beat everybody, and then and then. But actually, he's one of the few players, oh, who can do it like Jack, where he drops his shoulder. Yeah. Oh, oh come on! What are you free, doing? Free kick on the edge of the box here for no, Brighton. Never a free kick. Yeah, let's just look at this. Very soft. Trossard has actually megged Louise and just gone down. He's literally megged him and then gone down. Yeah, exactly. Look at him. He just threw himself down. What the... F hey, you know, reality, I mean, if Grealish did that, that'd be all over social media. It would, wouldn't they? All the, all you know, the bloody Twitter feeds that did before Grealish diving. That was yeah. disgraceful. In fact, that one and the one previously where Jack was, was uh, pull, pulled up. They are two ridiculous things. And if that's what Brighton need to sort of do to win, then then, then it shows you how shit they think they are themselves. Excuse, They've excuse got me. got McAllister on the free kick, who once again is actually a very good player for Brighton. I think he's coming off from an injury. I think it's one of his first games back, but very creative. One of come their... On, come on, Izzy, sort him out. Martinez, hopefully with another world he saved. Once again, another signing is an excellent... This season. Gotta love Martinez. Hold on, hold on. Let's watch this go. 
Come on, Just then. Watch it go. We're all lined up. Here he comes. He's in. Oh, and he's over the bar. That was it. McAllister. Yeah. Over the bar. No, interestingly, interestingly, the, the you know the keeper who played for um, Arsenal the other day wasn't he? Wasn't he the the young keeper from Brighton? Is that right? Yeah, Matt Ryan. Yeah. How well did 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 he play? I mean, seriously well. Yeah. I, I was really surprised. I mean, you know, like he, you know, there's two or three that we should have scored for sure. And uh, and if he's their substitute keeper or young keeper or one that they, they they can afford to do without, you wonder how good the keeper they, they, they've got here is. Pretty much. Come on, yep. Villa. Fight him. Fight him, Villa. Come on. We've got a free kick here. John McGinn's taking it quickly to Grealish, who gets another Good. foul there. It's the same couple of players that are popping up. It's like Trossard, that Veltzman, McAllister. They're, they're, they're just taking the ones diving and stuff, just making fouls. Driving down. Greedish just needs to get in their heads so that they actually make a bad tackle and obviously get books, get red carded, potentially, obviously. Well, well, that, he, he he just need him in, in, in the thigh, didn't he? He just yeah. like, you know, he came in one and gave him one. So if Jax was a free kick, then what is that, right? Yeah. Oh, I know I'm biased, everybody listening, but for goodness sake. <sighs> I think if I had a team who deliberately did what they did, I'd soon be complaining about it <laughs> that's, that's not it's not the way you need to play we know jack goes down but he gets battered for his trouble but yeah. you know like some of these some of these fouls he's getting are just ridiculous referees just don't protect him at all nope there we go target all the way over ming's heads here and a brighton throw in uh, don't tell go. me it's going to be one of those games where we just can't even get the ball down or frustrating or whatever All right, never mind. Come on, lots of time to go. At least we're coming out at them now more, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. 25 minutes into the game and Brighton have had more possession, more chances, I guess you could say, but nothing much has happened. Watkins has won. The See, that's what I like about Watkins as well, getting involved, trying to press, tackling opposition defenders. He's won us a uh, uh, throw in there as well. Is that a throw no, in for us? No, it's away. But he did win us a throw-in previously. Yeah. Seems quite posh, Watkins. If you listen to his interviews, seems quite well-mannered and posh. It's a bit... You mean you mean for an Arsenal supporter? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he loves Arsenal, though, doesn't he? All he puts on his social media yeah, is that. And he's yeah. like, oh, yeah, scoring against my Dreamhood club. It's like, come on, you play for Villa, mate. Well, he did say my dad and my uncle aren't talking to me. Oh, come on. That was never a free kick. It's the it's same goal. Every time Grealish goes near anybody, they throw themselves to the floor. Yeah. If I was Smith, I'd be going crazy at the fourth official about now. These are just ridiculous, these decisions. It's that um, Veltzman, that guy. They've never even heard of him. Him and Grealish having a few arguments and stuff. Okay, so what? We're, we're just over halfway through, something like the first half. Tell me about the bottom three. What do you reckon? Well, you reckon, you reckon that's the three Fulham, Albion, and Sheffield United. You know what? I I do think that all of those clubs have the potential and have the players, and have the manager to stay up. But then I also think there. If I look, if I'm looking, what worst teams there are? What are there? Maybe Newcastle, maybe Burnley, maybe. But that's about it. I feel like West Brom could put up a fight come towards the end of the season. I feel, I feel bad for them because I really like Scott Parker. I really like... McGinn, what are you doing? Yeah, McGinn giving the ball away. I really Easy like ball, Scott Parker. I really like the way Fulham play. They play, again, pretty decent football, pretty nice football, but they're just defending. It's just bad. And it's just... And then Sheffield United, I think uh, I think they're gone. But once again, have the potential to stay up if they fight. But look at us, Grandad. We were gone and out. We were bottom of the table... You know, or 19th place, lot like four, five, six games to go. And the mighty Villa stayed up. Exactly. Which is so weird. Terrible. I thought that was so weird because I felt like we lost 
I felt like we improved, obviously. I mean, everyone knows this. We improved a lot by lockdown. And I feel like what happened in the world, can't say because of demonetization really helped us. But I feel like we lost a lot of games, even though we we're improving. And I feel like we drew to Everton, we beat Arsenal, and that was it. We, we'd stayed up. I felt like the teams around us were just as poor, probably worse than us. So um, I, think, I think what happened to to us, which is what happens to a lot of teams, and the, and at least I think Albion and Sheffield United, you know, I think if, I think you get yourself into a position where it's really difficult to just stop, just stop and think about what's going on. It's almost like you want an international break. You want something, yeah, that says, let's have two weeks off. Let's think about what we're doing. Let's get fit. Let's clear our brain. Let's talk about what's going on and then go from, from there. And, like, and all those teams below us just don't have a break to do it. Three games a week, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, oh, 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 what the? We're just oh, giving no, the no. ball away. We're trying to pass it around the back and we're just giving it away. Louise giving away another foul, which probably was a foul that time. Someone says they should have signed Lingard. Yeah, I don't know, because who... Although Lingard played well versus us, their next game, West Ham, he did nothing. And Barkley, Lingard, Grealish, McGinn, doesn't too many attacking players. I feel like, would you rather have Barkley on Lingard? Barkley for me, 100%. Sure, Liz, I think that, but it's just hindsight, right? You know, you just can't know. You know, Lingard's come in, he's, he's played a blinder, hasn't he? He's played a blinder, and whether he'll still be doing it in 10 games' time uh, remains to be seen. And I think, you know, it's so easy just to say, well, he's had a good, good game, should have got him. United didn't want him. Nobody else wanted him. West Ham took a punt, got him three points. You know, whether it works for him long term, we'll, we'll tell. I could have minded about Jack being on the floor. You know, this blocked the ball coming through the sort of uh, uh, walls. That's what Lionel people. Messi, Lionel Messi just started that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Well, uh, uh, Man, Man City were doing it today. So what are Brighton complaining about? They right? all do he's it. Not, so he's not behind any of their players, is it? No, all the walls like this, the walls yeah. like that. Usually they literally lie straight on their belly, flat. Yeah, so he doesn't go under their feet when they jump. And yeah. Jack was just on his knee for some reason. I don't know why Jack was on his knee. So he could sprint out, I guess. I don't know. It is Come a on. weird one. Yeah, I'm sure somebody somewhere has done it. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on, Villa. How are you? Uh, thank you. Actually, actually, I'm doing. I can't see my finger. There you go. I'm doing quite, quite well. I've actually had had my first jab. Can you believe? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've had wow. my, so, yeah. In ten weeks' time, I get my second one, and then as soon as somebody says that you can, you can come out of lockdown a little bit and maybe go on holiday, I can give it a go. Come see us. Yeah, but I'm doing fine. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. That guy was a Southampton fan, and obviously losing 9 0 to um, Man United the other week. How are you feeling about that? Obviously, the, the person asked the question. I feel that's, that is embarrassing for them. Two 9 0 in a year, a year and a half. Um, it happens. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I always, uh, we, I always remember when we lost 8 0 to um, Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Devastating, wasn't it? Eh? Yeah. I remember. But then, how did, Liverpool win? how did Liverpool feel when we stopped seven past them? I think yeah. it just, it's, just, it's just these kind of games. There's no, there's no crowds. Um, and when things start going rain, it's almost like some of the games, I don't know whether. It's hard to actually say. I mean, I think the teams are playing well. I think you're seeing a lot of good skill going on, but there's something missing because the crowd isn't there, and that's what's making the difference. It's why so many away teams are winning. And, you know, so many teams winning against Liverpool. Right? Well, for us, it's helped working, obviously. No crowd being there. Yeah. Oh, that's Triori down. He's having a quiet game, isn't he, Triori? It's really weird. But so is Barkley as well. Greenish hasn't been too involved that much either. Um, but, uh, yes. Uh, obviously, Villa winning 11 league appearances, appearances, league games, for the first time 
in a decade. Yeah, and so, got ten, and got ten clean sheets as well amongst yeah, them all. Yeah, ten clean sheets out of those eleven, and the one was obviously the seven-two game. That feels like such a long time ago. That seven-two game, honestly. Doesn't it? But then it really also does. feels close at the same time. It's a bit of both. That was a very good night to say the least. Interesting night. So I think um, you got it. I think, you know what? I think they got us off to a flyer, and and I think it gave everybody so much confidence. That's yeah. That's when the season actually really probably did look up for us. I think personally. But, um, like, come on, Villa! Just oh god, we're not just passing it to each other, are we? We kind of just. It's very it scrappy. This game is very scrappy. It's scrappy on our side for sure. Yeah. You know, we need we need to be we need to be thinking about what we're doing. Oh, <laughs> again! They're uh, just crazy he's... defenders out. I just don't know what the, what the hell is going on here. Brighton are going forward here. Grob on the right hand side or has left it for more pie. He's gonna shoot Martinez with a decent save. McGinn once again. I don't know what he's doing. He's on the floor injured for some reason. I'm I don't know what's I going on what with him again. Lately he hasn't been hasn't been the McGinn we know, has he? No, not at all. Interestingly, when he when they took um Barkley off the other day and he dropped back in you know, he he went backwards, didn't he? I think. You know, when Sanson came on, he actually played better. He actually played better for that. And and, he, and I'm wondering whether, you know, he, he's just not liking where he's playing at the moment. Which is, which is why I think if they can get Sanson into the team, give him a just give him a week off, right? And just try and change the style of play through mid mid midfield. It's so important to us. But they're catching us out. They're pressing our midfield down hard. And yeah. uh, it's causing problems. So I said, but where do you think Liverpool will finish second or third? To be honest, I think Man City uh, are going to storm the league this season. It's going to be second, hasn't it? It's the other yeah, I can't, really see any, I can't see anyone else going second. Uh, maybe Leicester, maybe I hope not. But well, I don't know. Liverpool are what six, six points behind second place, right? Leicester. Yeah, but so, I think yeah, Man, I City, Man City have got a game in hand as well. I think it's City's league to sort of lose for sure, right? Yeah. But second place, it could be it, it could be less Leicester or or United, but I wouldn't. Oh I yeah, wouldn't get, United. I wouldn't get against it. Liverpool, right? Quite in Grandad, here it is. I got a question for you. There's a lot of debate, a lot of opinions. Bruno or Kevin De Bruyne? Bruno or Kevin De Bruyne? Yeah. Who's Bruno? You know the Fernandez guy or something? The best midfielder in the world, probably right now. Who Bruno? Who yeah. did he play for? Fernandez, Man United. You're gonna wind them oh, up right. now, all the United fans. You're gonna wind them up. Nah, I tell you what I think about him. I think I think he's just they're gonna start playing, you know, in and around him. It's all about it's all about Fernandez, all about Fernandez, and then one day he's not gonna be there. But, yeah. You know when we played Man United, he scored the penalty, but he did nothing. Like he, For the he whole was, game. The whole game, he was out of the game. What did we lose? One nil? Was it two nil? I think it was two nil, wasn't it? I can't really remember. But he, he nah. was, he did nothing. He scored the penalty. No, two one. It was two one. And oh, he, yeah, honestly, crying out loud! Come on. We're just giving the ball away every time oh, we get the ball. Exactly again. What the. McAllister and Trossard causing us problems. We can't deal with them. Cash. It's that, whole, it's that whole closing down. Oh, what a save. Oh, good save. Number 11, Trossard with a good shot from the left-hand side. Martinez with a big hand to it. But honestly, 40 minutes in, Dean Smith needs to get into these bloody players' heads at half-time because nothing else is, obviously. Um, uh I think instead of shutting our defenders down, what they do is shutting our midfielders down. People yeah. are saying Grealish is better than Bruno, so fair enough, I guess. Maybe I think that is. Mm. I think the thing about 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 um, Fernandez, he's got a lot more space and time at United than he would have in any other team. Yeah, 
Is that another corner? There are some big players, Brighton. They got Dunk, the um, White at the back. There's that other guy at number like 33. I don't really know who he is, but he looks pretty big. The guy who's taking the corner, Gross, 13, he's big as well. Who's this? Who's, oh, yeah, there's Dunk there coming in on. Who's, who's watching him? Barkley's supposed to be watching him. Look at number 33. Look how big he is. Look how oh, another save. Whoa. It's the post there, Brighton. That number 33 again, like I just said. I think, does Martinez tap it onto the post? So, so why, why isn't Mings there? I don't know. I don't know. Where is Mings? Why isn't Mings at the back watching him coming in to meet him when the ball's... That is a real right camera play. save. That is, Grandad. Look at that. What a save. Oh, I know. Fantastic save. Where would we be without Martinez, hey, guys? It is ridiculous. Although people talk about our defence, literally we wouldn't, wouldn't be a defence like this guy. He's honestly he's sick. You know, some years back we had. Um, oh, oh! You just, it's just the balls just aren't running free to us at all. No. Close him! Come on! Ball, come on! Shot. Close him down. Dunk still got it here. Pass it out to the left. He passes it to Trossard. He's going to cut back. He's going to cut back again. He's going to pass it into the box and Mings away for another Brighton corner. corner. This Trossard guy scored versus on that away day last year at Brighton. It's causing some problems as well. Uh, I remember that away at Brighton. There's literally, like, literally as we scored, I just looked to my right and there's a smoke bomb right next to me setting up a blue, bright blue smoke bomb. Uh, me and Max, me and Max went. Obviously, you all love Max on the channel. He had to run away. He literally ran away. He said his eyes were like really watering. They were getting his eyes. Honestly, that was sick. And then my clothes for like two or three washes, the same clothes just smelt of smoke bomb. It was amazing. What a day that was. Wasn't that the same at Wembley as well when you were setting up smoke bombs in that pub car park? Before the game, I mean, yeah. Yeah. You know, I got a feeling. I, I, I got a feeling. If anything happens to um, Ollie, that at some point here this season, that that they'll give um, Barry a, a chance up front, won't, won't they? They yeah. reckon he's. They reckon he's electric. Trouble is, he's a bit lightweight still, isn't he? You know, he could get quite, you know, quite a pasting if you're not careful. Yeah. <sighs> We're not getting any break on anything going on here. It's a frustrating game to watch. Brighton have already done their homework. They know what we're doing. They know what we want to do. And, They're yeah. one of these spoiling teams, aren't they? They're like um, Burnley, right? They just, they just, you know, one of these battling, get in your face, knock, knock, knock you around sides, and hope to sort of score off uh, uh, um, set pieces. You know, you wonder, you know, like where, where's where's oh, fucking Barkley? Stop just. Play to the odds. Come on. Yeah. Oh, 36 target. viewers in here, guys. Hope you're doing well. What is your score prediction? Oh. In the oh, comments well in, below. Well in, well in cash. Come on, cash. Paid out oh. to Triori. Get on this. Box. Away from the Brighton defender and away again. First chance where we've actually been like, oh, we might score here. I guess. Grealish on the left-hand side still got it in. 41 minutes in. He's passed it back out to John McGinn. Who's going to... I don't know what he's doing. He's messing around with it. He's passed it back out. Back to McGinn. Oh! Played it through to really good ball to Watkins. You just can't get Too that. Too far in front of Watkins. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. Trio is not really getting into this, is he? I don't know what's going on. He's normally a lot better than this. Yeah. Um, I don't. I think that I, I, I can't help thinking they've actually got him marking people, not trying to play his own game, and um, you know, so he, you know, he's not being like, like like an outlet for us at all. There you had cash up up up, up on, on the overlap, didn't you, with Grealish, and you're just thinking, where's Triori there? Oh. Come on, lads. Someone says 2-0 Brighton. Hopefully not. Have some faith. We'll, well win. We'll, we'll get there. It's been two years, right? 
Where's your Sheffield United, mate? Who comes on these these uh, these things? <laughs> I mean, oh, I he talk. did. I like talking. He did pop in earlier and say up the blades, but uh, I don't know. He's probably playing Xbox. Isaac. There we go. Come on, Ollie Watkins. No options. He's had to hold off Dunk by himself. Yeah, he's flattened him. He's just bloody flattened him on, on the line. He Nothing. And he hasn't even got up. Gave it away. Dreaming of a smash and grab. Well, well like we did against... Um, who did we do oh. against? Nah, come on. So that was Southampton? Who was it? No. I can't remember. We did it versus someone where Barkley scored. Southampton, yeah? Yeah. 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 We scored we late against Leicester yeah. as well. We definitely didn't deserve to win that game, but we move. We take it. Target, 19th minute. Cash, 90th minute. Hopefully. If Target scores again in the 90th minute, I will. Um, I don't even know. I'll be very happy. I'll be a happy boy. Watkins, 44 minutes in now. Pass it to Barkley down the line. Who loses the ball again. Right, come on. We're pushing up. We're pushing up. Come on, Villa. The best That's time to score a goal is before half time. So let's hopefully we can do this. See, look, Br uh, Brighton, all their wins have been just one nils. They don't score many goals, but they also... Yeah, but, how many, but how many do they can concede? I mean, are, exactly. are they, how many have they conceded? Not many, I know that. Not they many, no. Lose oh, one, yeah, two yeah. nil. Oh, just for fuck's sake. Oh. Yeah, Barkley, poor pass. Barkley's been, very He's been really wasteful, isn't he? And he wonders why he got brought off. If he gets brought off again, he definitely can't blame Jim Smith. I think when he comes off, the water bottle should kick him. <laughs> You're at half time, right? Come on, lads. He's got it in him. He needs to just we need to just settle into some kind of rhythm and we're just not doing it. So it's just all scrappy. But it's all across the park, right? One more minute of added time. Good tackle from Target. People talk about our left back being a weak spot, but I really don't see the problem. I like Target a lot. I think the I think problem is if you haven't got Target, then what? Yeah. He he works with Jack very well and he's just he does, he fits yeah. our play style. Do you not think though that I mean like he's his backup's Taylor, right? Yeah. Do you not think, you know, you know, like, do we really think Taylor is good enough as like a good backup for him? True. So yeah, I think in, in the summer that, that that's yeah okay. So Triori is on the ball now. Come on, son. And that's the whistle. And that is a whistle. Half time. Good... Aston Villa nil. Brighton and Hove Albion nil. Oh. Dodgy first half to say the least. A bit. Lack luster, is that the right words? A bit not of a we grew into the game, took sort of. We got the ball a lot more towards the end, but then when we get the ball, we just give it away like, like nothing, just give it away. Yeah, we were really, yeah, like we were really wasteful, really, really wasteful. I'll tell you what has happened though, in the last fifth about fifth, fifth, 15 minutes, although they put pushed on, they haven't been chopping Jack down, have they? Yeah, no. I think they. I think they sort of think they've given them the kick. It, they've given him a kick in. They've upset him, unbalanced him. They certainly done something to Barkley. So I think I think Dean needs to settle them down and just say, right, you know what? We're not going to fight it out with them, but what we are going to do is start playing our game because at, at the moment we're just chasing them and we give the ball away so quick. And I think with the reason we, we the reason we're doing that is because every time we get the ball, there's so many of them around us really quickly. And they've got to be thinking, if five players around you, where's the space? There's got to be space somewhere, hasn't there? Right? So they've got to be looking to get push the ball away and over in, into the space. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. What's, what's, well, what's, what's the views of all you guys? What, what are they saying? Oh, Sanson in. Dunk has yeah. been good. People want He's Sanson, just... to be fair. There's a few people have said Sanson. Um, there's someone up here as well. Um, and then someone said Dunks has been good, true, but have we really, you know, pushed him? Have we really challenged hard. him? Not really. He's just a horrible hard, isn't he? <laughs> I think we should 
bring on El Ghazi for Birch and Traore. Maybe, potentially. He hasn't really done much, but maybe give him five, ten minutes. Um, thoughts on fan, fans returning to stadium? What is there to say? Yes, 100%. We want that. Literally, the only thing I want during this lockdown is to go to a Villa game. Been craving it for I don't know how long. And it is, it's a... Yeah, uh, it's in, in any Saints vlogs. Been here, been in there since the start. So actually, shout out to you. Uh, if we do go into the stadium, will we get worse or better? Well, apparently worse. I actually, I actually think at home, this team at home with with our crowd, I think it'd be eight because I think I think fair to to say we we've done a lot better, haven't we? A lot better away from home this season. Yeah. And, and 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 our home form hasn't been been good, but that's not true of us. That's true of a lot of teams. And I just think you know, with our with with, with a crowd behind, full a full stadium, I think like well, you know we, we can pick up on a lot more, more more points at home if crowds come in. Having said that, I don't think you're going to see any attendance for the whole season. I really don't. Doesn't the season yeah. finish around mid-April or something? It's it's, some, it's it's soon, isn't it? Right. It's about it's ten not really... games, I think. I think it's about well, ten well, games. Well, so this is our twenty-third game, right? So we've got fifteen games to go. So I reckon that's six to eight weeks. I think we're going to be finished before the end of April. Um, I can't see us be being being back at all. I told you I, I had my my jab. My second jab is the twenty-first of April. So, and I'm at my age, there's a lot of people younger than me aren't going to be getting jabs for a while. It's certainly not too. I don't think the stadiums will have anybody in until um, August, September time. I really don't. It'll be interesting to see what happens with, with the Euros, won't it? You know, are they really going to play the Euros with or without oh, fans? Talking about England, I was going to say this. Obviously, England have a very, very good potential squad. Not sure about the manager. I don't think Southgate's the right person for the job. Uh, bit old tactics. Yes, in the World Cup we were very good, but since the World Cup, I mean, I don't watch England. Like I think the international break is the most boringest time of the season. I think honestly, it is rubbish. I actually, apart from World Cup, obviously in Euros, but when we're playing like Norway, when we're playing Iceland, I don't. I honestly just don't care. Play boring. Oh, the nations. Anyway. We want anyway. to watch the nations cup. Who cares? <laughs> But anyway, apart from that, apart from Gareth Southgate, um, we've got Grealish coming into the England squad, which Rio Ferdinand said that, um, after the Arsenal game that if he does, if Southgate isn't regularly starting Grealish in the England squad, then he, he's not going to back Southgate, basically. And he said, we've got Foden coming in. Obviously, Rashford is getting up to the prime of his career. We've got Grealish. We've got... Who else do we have? We've got a lot of youngsters. I can't think off my head now, which obviously... Uh, which is obviously quite bad, but um, we've got a lot of youngsters coming in, and for England, obviously, very bright future to be fair. But um, uh, we've had one Tell shot. Me. We've had Villa. We've had one shot. Brighton have had twelve. Uh, uh, Tell me about phone, right? I saw the Man City game against uh, Liverpool, and he was electric, right? He, he was really was, and he scored, and he scored a screamer, right? Yeah. And yet, and yet, I noticed on the Villa. Twitter feeds this morning, they were going on about Foden and just going, no, oh, he's stupid, he's a kid, he's nothing. Like like giving him no credit at all. I was like, I was really surprised. I actually thought, um, you know, that you know, uh, um, he's got great potential. He really has. He's one, definitely one of the best youngsters in the prep. Um, a bit naughty, obviously, with the Mason Greenwood uh, incident a few months ago. I was actually, you know, Grealish actually could have been involved in that because like, they they go to like obviously we all know what he did. He invited like women round or something when he shouldn't have, obviously. And um, um, you know, like, did, right? what did I say? With, uh, uh, that was in Iceland, right? I think so. It's abroad, and like him, Green, him and Greenwood, he's like, obviously. He's like twelve. What's he doing inviting hookers round to his room at twelve in in the England hotel? For goodness sake. Yeah, but him and Greenwood were obviously the people who did it. And then him, Gre Greenwood and Grealish were like training throughout the whole day. I think that I think so it was like they said to Jack, obviously, do you want to come around? We're doing this. So I'm very glad Jack said no, because that would have got him into a lot more. Because that was sort of around the time where obviously his car, sort of accidents, whatever happened. 
So that would have got him into a lot of trouble. So I'm actually very glad, obviously, Jack didn't say yes. Because um, we saw the backlash and the media have a massive go, Foden and Greenwood. So rightly so, I guess. So. No, I think so as well. It was, it was just stupid, wasn't it? You know, well, we didn't think... We, we didn't think the, these girls would sell their story to the um, to the newspapers. Really? <laughs> really? Are you so dumb you wouldn't think they would do that? Why else would they do it? And Foden at his age, I don't know. I don't know what he was thinking. Yeah. Still, still, we were all young once. And in your case, you still are, right? Yeah. Lessons learned, mate. Yeah. 15 learned. this year. Big 15, I think. Yeah, 15. Yeah. I, think I, I actually like my birthday because what they literally my birthday is the second of November and they put us in this lockdown on the sixth and obviously we all knew the lockdown was coming so we on my birthday we were obviously seeing as many people as we could and then we went to um, a very 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 nice posh pub around here it's expensive which was obviously second only the second time I've ever been but honestly it was lovely so my birthday was quite good because obviously we knew this lockdown was coming in a couple of days and. Um, yeah, it was it was good. Early party. Your birthday's in April, isn't it? Is it April? I think. That's the one. End of April, guys. April thirtieth. You can, if there's a game, you can wish me happy birthday. I'm not going to tell you how old I am now. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. I always remember your side of the for the first or the thirtieth because I always remember it's either the start or the end. So because someone's is the yeah. first somewhere. I can't really remember to be honest. But um, how's your yeah. ball granddad? Actually, I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to get any advertising revenues going, you know, and sponsorship. But when, mate, when you're my age and you're watching games at nine o'clock at night on a Saturday night, you'll need something to keep, keep, keep you going as well, yeah? Have you missed, <laughs> Grandad, have you missed the live video? So it's been a while since we've done one. It's been three months. Because it's I remember... More. It's been because oh, I remember we, game, when, when, when was the last yeah, one? I can't the West Ham, no, Sheffield United right at the start of the season. But honestly, guys, these live videos, when you do them consistently, ah, hold, every... on, hold on, hold on, Bailey. Yeah, Bailey's got a birthday, same, yeah, same month, month as mate. Happy birthday, mate, when he comes. Anyway, yeah. this the same week when you do these live videos every day for weeks, they get a lot. Um, What's the word? Tiring. So a lot of people asking me this season, where have your live videos been? I just can't be bothered to do them. We're back now, though. We've had a break. No, We're going to do no. this one, the Leicester one, and then the next game. And if you guys like the live videos more than the vlogs, then we'll be doing that. Um, but you, are you coming on for the Leicester one next week, Grandads? 20 seconds? Yeah, no, I'm in for the duration this, this season, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, do you remember meeting my uncle Curtis? Obviously, the um, Newcastle supporter. He said he'll come on next week for a few minutes if you if you want for for a half. Newcastle talking about Curtis. I'm going to expose him here. Granddad, he is definitely becoming a Villa fan. He all he when I go see him or it, when I talk to him on the phone, he always talks about Villa. His son has got a his son's got a Villa top, a Villa like like stuff on his Xbox. And whatever he always says about how he loves the way Villa plays, and he's becoming a Villa fan. So we're gonna have a lot of discussion with him when he comes hey, next week. Hey, hey, let's face it: if you had Steve Bruce as your manager, you'd yeah. like another team as well, wouldn't you? Honestly, he hates it. And obviously, we, I, I, obviously, I quite like Newcastle just because obviously I talk to him a lot about Newcastle. But he, he hates Bruce. He hates oh, him. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Where's Grandma? What Sue? Like where's Sue? Well, no, is it your mother? Where's mum? Mum's upstairs having a bath, I'm pretty sure. She might be out now. Oh, yeah, so let's not talk about that one then. No, grandma's watching your Kai's grandma. I can't get my finger going. Why is, why is my fingers the wrong way around on this? I don't know. It's happened for me. I'm looking this yeah. way, but it's actually looking that way. She's actually watching NC uh, on TV. And and then I think she's going to watch Murder in Paradise or Death in Paradise or whatever it's called. She likes stuff like, uh, like that. There you go. So people are saying, sorry, we people got are saying you're a legend, up. Grandad. You guys are legends. You, Honestly, Grandad, you are definitely the most requested. People come to my channel and they're like, where's Grandad? Where's Grandad? It's like, it's my channel. Well, they love you, Grandad. Trust me, they all do. You're real. <laughs> You realise one day you're going to go, where's Granddad? And he's going to say, in the care home. 
But I just go into the care home with my camera. Oh, do you want my Brighton story? Yeah, do you guys want my Brighton story? Yeah, guys, quickly. Yeah. Just put, put you, tell with, yours, you tell yours, then I'll tell mine, because obviously I want to talk right, about okay. Many years ago, I was married to Kai's grandmother, my first wife, right? And and it was Boxing Day. We'd, we'd sit on Christmas Day, and they're all going to come to my house on Boxing Day. And she said to me, oh, my mom and my friends and my aunts, and they're all going to come for, Christ for, for dinner on Boxing Day. And I said, why is that then? Because we've had, like, Christmas Day with your family. She goes, well, they're coming. I said, well, that's all right, because I'm going to go and see Villa play tomorrow, and I'll see them kind of when I get back. And she goes, all right, then. So 10 o'clock next morning, psh, gone, right? I got back at 1 o'clock in the morning. And she said, she went crazy. Did we win? Did we win? She went, hold on. She went crazy. She said, where the hell have you been? You went to watch Villa play. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Where have you been? Blah, blah, blah. And I said, I told you I was going to watch Villa play today. And she goes, and? And I said, well, we play Brighton away. <laughs> and, then, and in those days, there was no M25, there was no M23. You had to go, you had to drive down the M1 to London, round the, the North Circular Road, round the South Circular Road, down the A23, all the way down to Brighton, 200 miles mm -hmm. along ordinary roads once you got off the end of the M1. Came home at one in the morning, and we won. And we won. And Brighton's not such a long way to go when you win, is it? Yeah. Well, when we drew 1-1 one, one, um, last season, I always said last season, obviously, not the best season when we went to games. And um, that and Burnley on Boxing Day was the only real away games, and Arsenal, I guess, that were actually good, that were exciting. But um, we had to go really early because we were ta we're, I think we got up about, um, about 7 o'clock, which on away days we don't usually get up to about... Nine ten, and we met my we met my mate Max. We took Max. Um, and we met him down. Well, I'm not gonna say where, obviously, but we met him down uh, in the middle of where he lives, where I live. And then we got a coach with my mum's my mum's mate's called Robbie, and he goes to like all the Villa games, like, and he goes on this coach with his mates. So we went on the coach with him. You know, we, and obviously all of his mates, obviously like young, a bit younger than my mum, third like thirty five. We and then obviously they were all getting obviously very drunk because obviously it's a a private coach, obviously, whatever. I can't blame them. It was so funny because on the way there, they were all absolutely hammered. And we got into Brighton about two hours before the game. So we were all literally just walking around Brighton singing, Villa, Villa. We were annoying all the fans. There was loads of Brighton fans everywhere. They were, and there was loads of like uh, just random like elderly couples by the beach. And we were all just singing as loud as we could. And obviously everyone was just looking at us. But no one cared. It was really funny. And then we got to the game. We went to like the left side of the stand and they were the complete opposite side and um that literally one of the best limbs when we scored on everyone went mental like crazy everyone was all over the place i was getting jumped on top of by everyone the smoke bomb was right next like literally there absolute class and we got when we got obviously on the coach obviously they were all drunk obviously it was, it was a very very good day out it was like a proper 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 Oh, wait, like when you go to London, for us anyway. Oh. Yeah, carry on. Go on, what are you going to say? Yeah, kick off. Kick off. Kick off it's beginning for the second half. We're not even talking about Villa anymore. Well, we are. But uh, anyway, uh, when we go obviously, to London games, obviously, we get the tr uh, the underground down, the trains down. But obviously, when we went to Brighton, Burnley, it's proper, proper away. Honestly, it was such a good day. And we didn't even play that well. Like Villa, we played a bit meh. But honestly, such a good day. Greenish with a howler. The yeah, that, that was a good day. So there's oh, a little story time for you. Good. Okay. Right, we're back We're back on. Triori's had a go. Jack's had a go. Come on, Villa. Come on, we can do this. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do it. Let's, let's see Smith is earned his money. Come on, lads. Big Mac, uh, we literally got a throw-in and bloody Tyra Mings is the furthest man forward from the throw-in. Um, someone says love in the stream. Sorry, so that's okay. Thank you very much. Matty Cash with the oh, long it throw. Cash. Oh, to the middle. Oh. What uh, what second are you on? What, like, minute and second? Uh, 46, 12, 13, 14. Oh, I'm one second ahead of you now. Just like, so I'm 20, 21. I've just 20. come out. Oh, right, okay, yeah, you're one in front, cool. 
That's better though, because you were like four seconds in front. Now I'm like, it's only yeah. one second now. That was so. Barkley having a dig, having a stab at that. Come on, I'm ready now. Oh, let's show them what, what we're we doing. A little bit more positive. Obviously, we started with obviously with the ball, and we went forward. We tried. We tried to have a chance. Um, someone said they're a minute forty-seven, so don't score again. Triari, track back, track back, son. Look, look who's coming up behind you. Trussard. Oh, should have been on him. Sort of good save. Yeah. Is that Ooh, McAllister well done, again son. with a long shot and a good save from Martinez? Got down low very quickly. There was a lot of men in front of him, weren't there? How good was that? Honestly, McAllister and Trossard are really annoying me. They've been very good for Brighton. Uh, but on, anyway. Come oh, come on. That's the yes. way. Come on, play the ball. That'll do. 50 people in here, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and come on, Villa. Let's get some hype in the chat. We're ready for the second half. We're going to come out with a win. Jack Grealish is going to score. Matty Cash is going to score. Everyone's going to score. We're going to be happy. It actually took a deflection when Martinez saved it. It's a very good save. What an absolute guy. He the got that brilliant. God. Isn't he, isn't he like Argentine's number one or something now, they reckon? He will be now. Bloody hell, yeah. Because they haven't got anyone else, have they? They've got Romero, who's a bit, a bit dodgy. I don't really know much. I know they got Messi, but he don't play in gold, does he, right? <laughs> Well, he's Argentinian, right? Yeah, I guess so. This oh, McAllister as well is doing well for Brighton. He's Argentinian. Is he? Yeah. Oh, come on, lads. It's okay pushing it on, but let's give it to each other. Now, come on, run them, run them. Go on, Jack. Also, this kit is amazing. I actually didn't really like the kit when we got first release. I thought it was a bit meh, but I got the home kit. I like the home kit, so I said to my auntie, uh, I'll have to wake it for Christmas. Why not? And honestly, guys, it is so nice in real life. Got Watkins on the back, if you can see that, hopefully. And uh, up oh, the Kappa. Kappa have done as nice this year, I think. Yeah, I think that black shirt is brilliant. I've got one. I think they're really, really good. Yeah, you know and what they I'm going to have next well, week, Granddad? Do you, know when I do the live do you know when I do the live stream for Leicester? Yeah. I'm going to have, I can go and run it. I can go get it if you want. I'm going to have a proper microphone, like a Hundred pound blue yeti. That's a very good microphone. Okay, so, okay. All right, the, the round thing here, and you're talking to it there, like right. I can. I'm gonna show you. I'll go get it in a minute. But no, no, no. Well, don't worry. Don't worry. I need to buy a lead from Amazon for about forty pounds to like connect it to my camera. That's what I need to do. To so, your camera? Well, to my phone because I'm. Oh seeing. right. Oh, okay. Because just you're only supposed to plug it into oh, your laptop. Oh come on! Oh, you should have been there for that. Well done, well done. Well... Come on, Watkins. Come on, Ollie. Someone help 50 him. Fifty minutes in, and we started the game a lot, lot, lot better than we did in the first a half. A lot better. But honestly, in the second half, we always seem to come out on top. Offside. I don't know how that's offside, but it what? is. What? How can Jack be offside? I don't know. Oh, okay. It was when the ball was Barkley. I didn't. I didn't see that. He looked like he was well back. Or maybe he came back in from offside. Also, guys, not to flex, but PS5 and all that. <laughs> oh, there you go. Mustafa, I think Villa going to win. Come on, Mustafa. That's what we want. Mustafa. Oh. Come on. Positive thoughts, mate. Positive thoughts. Come on, Villa. We love you. We love you. We love you. And every week we follow. Follow. Oh. The Can you imagine the first game back at Villa Park, whenever that that is? It's going to be like outrageous. Hope we get tickets. It? We should get tickets. We've been waiting. Well, we're going to get our season tickets, aren't we? Right. We'll just keep our be... season tickets. Do you know how? Well, do you know when we won four two versus Blues the other year? Do you, oh do you yeah, yeah. The, Do you remember the atmos uh, atmosphere before the game, like outside the stadium before the game? That's what that's going to be like. Yeah. Also, now, guys, let me know how you're watching scores, right? the game. Are you watching just me? Are you watching the the, the game and me? Are you, you know, let me know. I'm interested. Oh, um, come, that's it. come on. At least we're hanging on to the ball a bit better. Come on, Villa. Just don't be casual. Oh, here we come. Come on, come on. Oh, 
Oh, Tarori, you could have got your foot in there, son. By better Villa, better. Do you need to do that. Well, Someone said both. It says like like Dina said something to him. Yeah. People want Sanson. Everyone's saying put on Sanson, my Sanson. I'm watching the well, game. Like, you you. Be careful, you know. I think you're being Sanson on when when we're in front. Um, you know, because he's got to settle in. He needs to know his place. He needs to know the systems we play. Yeah. Um, oh, 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 God. I thought it was going to be a fantastic own goal then. Nothing even happened, Granddad. He just passed it back to his goalkeeper. The keeper was going to the right, to his left. The ball went to his right. What do you mean nothing happened? Are you watching the same game as me? What are you on? I'm on 52-24. Yeah, and me. Bang on. Yeah. Yeah, well, it doesn't uh, even yeah, happen. He just yeah, passed it back to his goalie. Right Sorry? He just passed it back to his goalie. He didn't even do anything. Oh, oh, the keeper. Yeah, but the keeper was going the other way to start with. Um, oh, free kick now? ref. Oh, I should think so. About bloody time. How, how come he stopped and looked at it and then blew his whistle? And then went, oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's a foul. What did he think? Did he actually think there was some advantage or something? <laughs> it's Look hard, at that. To be fair, ben White is holding um, Grealish, so... No, he was. He was a definite free kick. But why did the ref look like he was going to let him play on and then decide it was a foul? Was that VAR saying, what are you doing? It's a, it's a bloody free kick. Uh, we want VAR out. I know uh, it niced us the other day with Southampton, but I honestly just what I want it out. Get it gone. I'll get it gone now. It's not I football think... anymore. Football's dying every game. Yeah, just it's not. I'm not a fan of it at all. It's so oh, controversial. They're actually your... saying, aren't they, that they kind of there's, there's there's like a little bit of a movement going on, saying that if if, if I look at it and they can't decide in thirty seconds, yeah, you let whatever the ref decided, that's what you go with. Yeah, I wouldn't care, but it's the fact that they give offside for that. I wouldn't care if it was just you know. This play was here. This play was there. That's offside. The fact that it's literally yeah, that. Like that bit. If you if it's that close, you just forget about it. Yeah, yeah, and it evens itself out over the year. Okay, so Jason, who's on? Yeah, I watched Morgan Sanson on YouTube, mate. Haven't we all? Um, and he's a fantastic player. I think you're right. I think the problem is though, playing in France and playing in the Premier League, it's different. The pressure, the speed. And, you're, and, and also, I think in France, I don't know how well forwards and mid midfielders come back and defend. In this league, yeah, they have to get back. So he needs to know he's got to do it. And it, when they've drilled that into him, when we haven't got the ball, this is where you go. This is what you, you do. That's when we want to get him on. I think you're right. He will be a fantastic player for us. But what you don't want to do is get him off to a bad start. Come on, come on, come on. Close him down. Oh, what's the way, David? Obviously, it's nil nil oh, now, but oh, uh, let's look at something. Seventy-eight percent of people predict a Villa win. Like, like nine percent predicts a Brighton. So that's obviously a very, you know, a lot of people think Villa are going to win. Then obviously the rest is drawing. Second half, we definitely look the better side. First half, they definitely look the better side. Um, but yeah, also, um, let me read some more facts here. If Brighton win today, it is going to be a club record for most success, success, success. Oh my god! So basically, if Brighton win today, um, they've gone throughout the six matches right, so without well. being defeated. So close them down. How many games before they've been defeated? Successive. So if Brighton win today, they've gone six successive matches without being defeated, which is a six. club record. Six. six. How many did we do in the championship the year we came up? 12? 12, I think. Was it 12, something like that? Yeah. And that was in the championship as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Six, but, is that it? Is that yeah, all you've ever done in the whole history of your club? Six. Of course, Brighton as well. One of Brighton's star players when we um, played them early on the season, Lamptey, 
has been injured for a few weeks now, was still injured. They've got a few injuries. They've got Solly March, who scored that belter versus us. He always plays well versus Villa. Every time we play him, Solly March always a stand-up player. That Jambach, Jambach, that Iranian, he's a pretty key player for Brighton. He's, he's injured as well. Quite a few injuries, to be fair to them. Uh, they've got that centre-back as well, Webster, who I think is a good centre-back, uh, injured again. So, they do have a few injuries. Um, but as I've said, Wait, all on, Brighton, very good defensively, but going forward, it's very, very poor. Well, not poor, but they just can't seem to score. More pay as well. This game has done nothing. Ever since he did this to that, the um, Arsenal game, he's just been poor. Last season, he was pretty good, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure he scored about 12, 13 goals last season. And Danny Welbeck as well scored that winning goal versus or one of the goals versus us, but hasn't done anything for Brighton this season. So, oh, I was unlucky by Bertrand. He gave that a good go. Would you take him off, Grandad? Would you, would you put on Trezeguet? Would you put on El Ghazi? No, no? I'd make him. I would make him work harder. Um, I noticed your mate Jason's back, and he's saying he knows about uh, Lamar. Uh, Morgan Sanson, he says, but I feel if we keep him on the beach all the time, he'll leave Villa. If we leave him on the beach, mate, he's never going to leave Villa, is he? I think you might have meant bench. I think, yeah, <laughs> kind of, I think he is bench. I'm, I'm joshing. Yeah, no, you're right. He's got to get a game. He's got to give it a go. Um, but, but you know, he needs to, he needs to just know what he's doing. Otherwise, and then just give him, uh, just give him that chance to get going. He also says uh, we should uh, sign Neymar. Uh, yeah, I think we should sign Neymar. GG if you win. What does that mean? Good. It's basically, well done if you win. Oh, to us. Yeah. So he's saying, I want Brian to win, but fair play if you win. Basically. Can you log log him off or something? Why? That guy came like just gone. Oh no, he's disappeared. Oh, what a shame! Why he said he's saying, "Well done if you win." What? He's been a good sportsman. He's been neutral, even as a Brighton fan, I think. Yeah. Okay. If you if you say so. Yeah. Right. Oh, look at this. We got a great one here. I like Isa. I like Isa. He's my mate now. Yeah. Why? He says we are better than Sky Sports. If only we could earn as much. Oh, Matty. Here oh, we go. Sugar. Right the come, on, come on, get across. Trust come on, come on, Mark. Come on, block him, block him, block him. Block him, block him, block him. No, block him. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Trust on a really good effort there. Trust on, he's really trying again to score versus us. So, Who's Matty, that? Is that Cash? Cash is down. He got he got he got clobbered here. I oh, know he's he got his he got his stud stuck and he went over the line. But granddad, oh. of course, Jack Grealish got actually got a very good goal ratio versus Brighton. He scored four goals in the five games he's played against Brighton. So Jack's only played Jack five goals against, games against Brighton. Four goals in five games he's played against them. Well, like is that like the He's played more than five games against them, though, right? Apparently not. Oh, okay. uh, what's that say? Oh, that's uh, oh, that's the Brighton guy. Ha, huh, laughing. Oh, okay. Talking about that, do you remember that in the championship, the first season we went down and Grealish scored a last-minute got like our season was over. We were twelve. We had nothing to play for, and they were oh, winning. Yes, yeah. yes. And Grealish in the last Brighton were going to if Brighton uh, won, gonna, they were going to win the league. They were, they were going to be, be champions. Right? And then in the last minute, Jack Grealish just shot from absolutely nowhere. He went in and Brighton didn't win the title. Newcastle did. <laughs> so Cash is off. Yeah. Oh, oh look, Cash. Is off. Oh. Come on, Cash. He's pulled, he's pulled something in the back, back, back of his leg. So you get out my head. You know what I'm talking about, Cash? You know he's on his Instagram. Do you know what I actually got? The most liked likes comment on one of his posts the other day. Did you? Yeah, okay, I mean, cool. it was a really it was a really random one. Like, do you know? Do you remember when he used to play for Forest and we played him in the Championship? Uh, I actually remember him going over to the corner flag, taking the corner, and I used to. Do you remember we used to sit right by the corner flag or by the tunnel? And I remember. Well, I remember yeah, exactly, yeah. And he was taking a throw, and I remember shouting to. Uh, it's it's a bit embarrassing, but I was obviously younger. I remember shouting. Your name's Matty Cash. You haven't got much cash. You must be poor. 
And he turned round and he gave me a thumbs up and laughed. He is now, yeah. And now we've signed him. And then I commented that on his Instagram saying, do you remember me? And he actually liked the comments. You must remember me. <laughs> if, yeah. If he ever says, come and say hello to me at the ground, be careful. He might club you. <laughs> I remember because I, I remember being so happy because I just shouted, oh, cash, you don't have much cash. You must be poor. And then he just turned around, put his thumbs up at me and laughed. So, look at my oh, cash. That's why I look oh. And we've let Gilbert go, haven't we? We've let Freddie go. Oh, I feel so bad. For, I feel bad for Gilbert because he last season he was one of my favourite players again, and now yeah. although yeah, Cash a real, a real game player, right? Although Cash come on, come on, come on, down, come on, get it away! No, yes, come on, away, away. Go McGinn, yes. Oh, oh. McGinn, oh, McGinn, but you gave it to one of them. Although Cash has oh, done a yeah. brilliant yeah. job. I feel bad for Gilbert because he was excellent for us. Yeah, yeah. So why Elmer had his on now. Why did we let him go? On, I wouldn't have let him go. Neither. I think I'd have said, come on, son, play play for your place. Elmer Hadi is not is you know, he's he's had his day, he's done well for us, but he's not the future, is he? No. You know, you have to think Freddie's the future for us. Although Every time El Mahamadi does seem to come on, he does seem to whip a good ball into the box and he seems to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't deny it. Oh, here we go. Oh, block on, block on. The shot deflected. Trossard passed it back to number 33. Don't know his name. Come on, come Basuma. on. Oh, Bertie, come on. Mark this man up here. Get close. Basuma to dunk. Oh, Six, 63 minutes in has been actually a very even second half. Both teams playing well. well. It's not it's it's not been even the last ten minutes, has it? No. They've got their they've got their tails up a bit. Come on, Villa, come on. Oh, what a save oh, what a again. Save. What a save. Who is that on the left hand side? Someone I don't know who it is cut in and Martinez with another very, very good save. Oh my god, that was nervous. That was nerve wracking. Sorry, Wellman or something. Wellman, I don't know. What a save! Oh, that someone said the Gilbert thing's only alone. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I know it's alone, but oh. but can we get him back if we need him? Or, or, yes, or are we contracted that he's if he's if he's gone, he's gone. For the season, I think he was—he was, was definitely a fan favourite, though, wasn't he? Yeah, I, I liked him. Go on, yes, good ball, Jack. Rowe. Oh yeah, come on, Jack, come on, Jack. get in the box, son. Barkley, Jack. Oh, he's gave it away. Oh, was good. Jack's had to run in a straight line there. I don't know what he's doing. Come on, here we he's go. Is that he, ended with, he ended up with three people around him, didn't he? Yeah, he had no chance. Watkins is trying to cut inside. He's gave it to Big John McGinn. McGinn, come on. Come on, Barkley. Come on. There's not enough people in there, is there? We haven't oh, got enough in there. You've got to bring it in. Bring it in the box. Make him chop you. Come on. Barkley again on the left, right, left hand side. Cut inside and deflected away from the corner. Come on, Villa. We got something else here. What do we got? Villa scrap. Villa will scrap a one-nil win. Good, good. I'm with you, Irene. Uh, Martinez or Bosnich? Different times, lads. I'm afraid. Um, I like Bosny. I really did. But Mar Martinez is so solid. So solid. I don't really know Bosnich. Troy already by the way. Trezeguet's on. Troy off. Come yeah. on, Trez. I don't think True has had much of a game, has he? No, he looks disappointed himself. He needs to. He's had a week off. They've all had a week off, right? Brighton are the ones who played three days ago, right? And yet we're the ones who were looking tired in all that, weren't we? Come on. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, Villa. Why aren't we letting oh, El Mohamedy take? Right, right footed, should have swung that into the box, Elmo should have. Where was that ever going to go than just back amongst six of them? I don't know why we didn't let El Mahamadi take. It was an in-swinger. Oh, Jack, come on, Jack. Come on, get in the box, son. Get in the box. Make them tackle you. Go, Watkins. Oh, 
Oh, God. Yeah, what a that freak. Is, that is a foul, to be fair, I think. Who's being fair? <laughs> well, oh, he, oh, Jack's offside, look. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, but if there's one player you could forget, right? Well, I'm just glad he didn't oh. go in. Guys. Come on, Gala. Oh, 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 oh. There goes Priori. He's looking for a bottle oh. to kick. Gala. Uh, Villa would be 4 nil down if not for the keeper. Well, that's why you have a keeper, son, so you're not. Yeah. By the way, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying otherwise, to be fair. Oh, Tris, 93rd minute goal at the back. Sounds like Leicester, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. what, what a game that was. Oh, come on, come on. Just block them off. Block them off. That was good play. Oh, oh be positive. Martinez, man, the match. Agree yeah. at the minute. I think we're right. That's got to be a free kick to us, surely. He just blocks Jack off so he can't get it. Can you oh. speak English, Martinez? I assume so, since he spent 10 years at Arsenal. Well, I was going to say, it'd be a bit bad for him if he couldn't, wouldn't it? They got a free kick, Grandad. No, I think Jack played into him. But I, I saw that the other way. Come on. The blue shorts is never it for us. Whenever we play in blue shorts, it doesn't work. Ever yeah. remember playing Everton in blue well, shorts? Oh, okay, come on. That's a, oh, get on them, get on them. Bring it home again. Bring that down. Oh, oh. bring it Here down. So Callister, good tackle from Konza, who passes it out. Brighton player who cash heads no, the ball oh, away. Look at them. We just every time we clear it, he goes to one of them. We should have yeah. learned by now. Give it. Pa just take half a second and just aim it to one of ours. Screw the Albion. What year was Grandad's first Villa match? 1966. Aston Villa. Oh, actually, 66, maybe 67. Anyway, Villa Park against Stoke City. We're losing 1 0, and we scored two late goals to win 2 1. Fantastic. I went home. My old man said, How did Villa play? I said, Fantastic. We won 2 1. The Sports Argus came out in Birmingham that night and he said Villa were looking and had played rubbish. <laughs> and my old man said to me, he said, you said Villa played really well. He said, and here, and here it's saying they were rubbish. You've got to be a fair sportsman. I said, I don't give a shit about being fair. I care about watching Villa play and win. And that was I, it. If I'm being honest, I don't even remember my first Villa game. It was new. Is that Cup bad? Ball. No, bad? it was Newcastle. You went with your mum. You were six. Newcastle. You not remember? It was a night match against Newcastle. You I went remember with your my first ever game. I remember. Well, I don't remember my first Villa game. My first. You remember your first game, game with me? My first ever game was Coventry game versus um, Nottingham, Nottingham, uh, Notts County. That was my first ever game. Coventry won 2 1 if anyone's interested. No, lost 2 1, sorry. No, I don't think anyone's interested. Yeah, but, I don't yeah. think anyone cares about Coventry, to be honest. Oh, oh, come on! Give it to each other. Do you lubricate your shaft in the tub or leave it dry? Well, isn't that a good question? The grab over the top to McAllister, Martinez. Very hesitant Corner. now, actually. That was a bit weird. Well, he thought it was going out, right? Yeah, I think the corner for Brighton. You know what that was like? Do you remember the game against Brighton when, oh, when our keeper, whoever he was, Heaton, wasn't it? Was it Heaton? He brought down and gave away a penalty. Do you remember? Yeah. It, it was, was almost, it was 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 almost like one of those minutes. That was Bournemouth. The, yeah, it was like Bournemouth. the first two minutes against Bournemouth. That was the one, yeah. And he didn't have to touch it, did he? But he just did. And and it was always going to be. It was always going to be a penalty. And I thought Mar Martinez might have done something similar there. Oh, God, he took that away from Molly. Oh, how can that be offside? 
He did come Especially back in, I think. Trezor Gay did come back in, I think. Someone says, love this mandem. Well, you're a cricket fan. A bit weird. I'm joking. What? I'm joking, but I don't like cricket. <laughs> Ah. Your fate, but both of your favorite Villa player, Matty Cash for me. I've already done. Um, I probably said of all time, didn't it? No, nah, who's your favorite Villa? No, nah, just favorite Villa player. What's yours, Granddad? Well, I don't know. Is that today? Is that this season, guys? Yeah, or... do this season. Do this season. Uh, it's easy to say, Jack, isn't it? So it's who else? I think, I think probably Oli. I think he's made a big difference for us up front. You know, he's still running, he's still trying, he's scoring his goals. The thing I like about Oli, he doesn't and score he plays, a goal. And he plays pretty much every minute. Him and Jack play pretty much every minute of the game, every week. Yeah. But Brighton, here we go. Sign Mings out. A sign Mings of a good ball. It's just not coming back to one of our players, is it? No. We're, we're kind of it's just not falling for us i don't know what, whether it's because we let's go away come on come on. oh look just give it away again Douglas, louise and elma oh, no. messing around oh, no. Oh, no 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 oh, oh jesus that more pies complaining for a penalty there he just yeah, I know runs he past, just runs past oh, is that conzo just runs past conzo easily martinez again does really well to come and shut out the player, but yeah, he keeps he's, the ball he's, away he's, every time. He's, we saying, get it. he's saying that Mings is leaning on him or wrestling him. Look, at, he's such a moaner, more play, isn't he? He always is, yeah. Well, it's no penalty, thank God. But it shouldn't be, to be fair, it shouldn't be. No, I didn't think it was. Come on, last it's, minute goal. Whinging, it, isn't it? Why, why don't I like him? He's re I'm, I'm really glad he didn't come to us, you know. I just don't like his face. It looks weird. Uh, yeah, didn't you start that weird white hair or bleached hair yeah. or something? Come on, Billy, just get it down under control. Just what else have we got? Uh, we got uh, what do you think about fake taxi? What? Do you think John is about average in terms of length? I don't know what he was talking about. Come on, walls, who? Um, uh, someone hello, was uh, we was who <laughs> Adam Triori, isn't that the guy who used to play for Villa? He didn't score many goals for us either. Nope, no, don't think so. Oh, that's a free kick, dirty, dirty. Well done, Trace. Yeah, book him, ref, book him for descent. Yeah, yes, <laughs> uh, burn. What a weird name, burn. Oh, look at that. That's just, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Just tuned in, Grand and sounds frustrated. Yeah, I am, guys, a little bit. Sorry about that. Also, uh, guys, another stat for you. Three, Villa have conceded just three goals in the first 30 minutes of any of this season, which is actually the joint best, along with Man City, who are arguably the best team in the Premier League. So, Morgan Stanton's coming on now. Whoa. Okay, okay. Who's he replacing? I'm saying McGinn has to be, surely. McGinn hasn't played very well. No, they've been, they've been wasteful. We, we have been, been very wasteful. To the guy who said that I'm getting frustrated, it's just because every time we clear the ball, it just isn't coming. We're not giving it to each other. We just kind of play, we're playing the ball out without thinking where it's going. See, look, El Mahami just got the ball and he's just booted up the line for no reason. No, well, not much That's pressure not under him. <sighs> Uh, Ken, yeah, go on, Ken, on you go. Uh, what's that walls say? Was uh, was it was or uh, something? Learn how to say walls was. Barkley's walls. coming off, granddad. Oh, oh, quick. oh, look, 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 all the balls are all running to hide. No, no, don't kick me, kick him. No, all the balls are legging it. <laughs> come on, son, come on, son. Let's put a bit, let's try and put a bit of class into this. He's a French baguette, big Sanson. Come on. The jambon, jambon and fromage baguette. Do okay, okay. Where was Martin? Is there any come to that? Now? Come on. 
Brighton oh, as well haven't won well, consecutive well home games, league games for for over a year since November 2019. Say so that again. If Brighton win this game, well, no, Brighton haven't won consecutive home games since November 2019, last like, over a year ago, well over a year ago, which uh, obviously is not a good record. Villa Park, the absolute fortress that it is. Finally, a Brighton player has been booked. First booking of the day, Leo yeah, Trussard. You see, this is the thing I say about Trez, right? He gets stuck in. He's got an engine. I don't know whether he can keep doing it for 90 minutes. Oh, and he's on. You've got strange ones on the chat today. Yes, Andy, you're absolutely right. We are. We should be kicking them off, especially the Wolves supporters. Andy, I've sent you a link if you want to come have a chat for the last 10 minutes of the game. If you want to if you want to just click on the link and come in, have a talk. Uh, but anyway. Oh. Never mind. Come on, Sanson. I just love this kit, to be honest. I think these kits are... Perfect. I, just, I don't know. Well, every time I see him, I just go, yes, that looks good. I so, think there was I a lot of complaining, wasn't there, last, um, last last season about the Kappa shirts. I don't think there's any complaints this season at all. Last season was made by, what was it made by last season? It was Kappa. That was the first season, wasn't it, that, that they did the shirts for us. Was it? Yeah. Fair Oh, more pay. What did I do? You were more pay. That's what you did. <laughs> There's no defence. Right, come on, Villa. Oh, hang on. We got, we got our mate on from Poland. Hey, yeah, from Poland. Right? Oh, I God, can't... Villa a tin pot. Bloody hell. I didn't, I didn't know that, mate. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for that. I'm glad, I'm glad you brought that to our attention. 10 minutes left of the game, 78 minutes in, nearly 79 minutes in, guys. Been a bit of a weird game, I'm not going to lie. We've been, well, it's frustrating, I think is the word. We're just, we're just hoofing the ball away. Nothing's happening, nothing's going right. Defensively, we've been all right. We haven't been as good as we usually have. But here we go, Jack Grealish on the left-hand side. It's going to put the ball in, Sanson. <laughs> Oh, oh at least you get it in. Good lad. That's what you want to see him doing, getting in there, don't you? <laughs> and, he says, and then he goes, oh. And he says she, uh, she's covered in baby sick and hasn't washed her hair. So, cheers. Well, just, in that case, then I'm just glad you're not here with us. Yeah. yeah. Me and Grandad look superb, obviously, as usual. And me, especially me and my villa top. Watkins in the past. Come on, Danny Welbeck on for Brighton. Um, yeah, I heard. Hey, what about Blues, Grandad? Second bottom of the league. They look like they are long gone, Grandad. Watch thoughts on that. Oh, you know what? I say the worst thing. There was a whole thread going on on the um, social me media this week about that, and half of it was saying. Birmingham are rubbish and just disappear and forget about them. And the other half was saying, yeah, but what great games we have against them. What great atmospheres Wait, do we have. grand idea he is. It's your, your friend Isaac. Isaac? Yeah, up Where's Isaac? Sheffield United. Um, 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 uh, you mentioned him earlier. Is that like UTB? What's that? The, at the bottom? Is that is that what you're saying? Yeah. Up the yeah. blades. <laughs> You oop the bottom. I think that's what I think that's what UTB means. Oop the bottom. <laughs> the blades are going down. That's what he said. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, Bernie, uh, what Isaac, you say about Isaac, mate, don't don't get stressed, Isaac. Yeah, you know we we've all been there. You never know. You never know, right? Anyway, if you do go 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 down, you can beat Birmingham twice for us next next season if they're still in that league. If they stay up, I don't. They will. They don't look good, Granddad. Right, this... don't, don't pay attention to the championship, but looking at the table, they do not look good. Well, do you not remember the other year? It was the last game of the season. They were in the relegation places, 
and they scored a goal in injury time, and that's what kept them up on goal difference. They lost the game, but it was the goal difference that that, got, that one goal made, and they stayed up. It was the most ridiculous thing you'd ever heard. <laughs> but they never learned, and they've never got, got any better from it. Come on, lads. Come on. Come on. Fight them. Oh, ref, that's a free kick. What's going on? Bloody McAllister. So he's just chopped Louis down. Uh, super popping Andy. Can I kiss granddad's, what? Forehand. Yeah, if you like. Yeah, no, no problem. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, it's Bartek. What's that mean? Uh, so January's is Bartek. Okay, Bartek, we're, we're okay, mate. Don't worry. Oh, and he doesn't want it either. There, dog poo. You're right, Annie. You're right. It's a real lot on tonight. Is this what you get for like ten o'clock on a Saturday night? <laughs> yeah. What time is it actually? It is. The time is. Late. Let me tell you. Too yeah. much to drink. Yeah. Twenty too to many ten. Beers. You guys better, appreciate, guys better appreciate us. Twenty to ten. Well, yeah. obviously, I don't know. I, I think I do prefer doing lives, but when you do it, you know, every week it does get a lot. It does. Yeah, it is annoying. Because you actually, obviously, tonight I felt like we've actually talked about a lot, Granddad. I felt it's gone on really well tonight. But usually, like, towards the end of last season, we kind of ran out of things to say towards the end of the game. So, no, uh, I think as well as that, I think some of the la uh, some of the la last ones we did. If if you remember, you had school days, and you were coming home from school and then coming into these things. It, it's a lot to, to do. So you know, if it, I think if it's uh, if it's a Saturday, it's fine. Sundays, that's okay. But. Uh, I just, I just need Villa to score. I just need Villa to score. Come on, guys. Oh, well in John McGinn there. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Who's, what's, what's with Gandhi and Brighton? No, they're saying it's 1-0, but I don't think it is because they're just my mates. So I don't think that it is 1-0. What, what, oh, is that Gandhi, right? <laughs> Gandhi. Do you know who Gandhi is? No. Well, I know. I know. Jesus Christ, talking about Welbeck, that literally nearly just went in. All my mates were just Whoa. saying how Welbeck just scored. This scrappy defending again. Konza, what is he doing? Another good stop from Martinez. I didn't even know he saved it. But you're in the box, right? That was Mings. Was that Mings who headed it down? I think so. Yeah, why didn't he just head it away? Away. Come on, Mings. Away from El Mahamadi, 84 minutes into the game. I'm not sure what's going to happen, to be honest. Yeah, Brighton have been the better team. I do agree with that. What's your Come thoughts, Brandon, on my new setup? I'm not usually down here, but past couple of videos I've been down here and it looks better, I think, than just being in my kitchen. Um, a little bit more interesting, I guess you could say. But next week, I'm going to have my mic. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I lost my stream. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. No, no, it's all right. It just, it just froze there for a second, which means I might be behind you by a couple of seconds. What? How many seconds do you have? Uh, 41, 42, 43. Yeah, you're behind me by about five seconds now. Yeah, it, it just froze. Mm -hmm. hey, your, um, your cousin, your, your cousin today, we were talking to her, and she's got a, the, the, the family got a new washing machine. You've never seen a two year old so happy with a new washing machine. <laughs> you know, it was amazing. He's like running around screaming, like, I am washing machine, washing machine. <laughs> running around in the kitchen. She was happy as anything. Yeah. Well done, Nora. Well, in these dark lockdown times, Lewis Dunk has literally just grabbed Trez again, pushed him in the face in his. In the penalty box, I don't know why they are looking at that. You could have a shout for a penalty there. Doesn't it drive your crackers? You know, VAR. They um, didn't and even VAR look. At, they didn't even look. Lewis Dunk just grabbed him and just pushed him. They didn't even look at it. Oh, who's your ready, doesn't it? You know, VAR say, well, it's not our job to give goals, but you're very good at not giving goals, aren't you? No. That, that's what annoys me. I think about VAR. It's it's all about not. Not giving the goals. Yeah. Bring that down. Come on, Conza. Come. On. I don't. Oh, dirty. How many seconds you got going now, Bab? Eight. Te uh, ten. 
11. Is that 87? 86. Oh, I'm on 86, 26, no, 27, 28. So I'm ahead of you now. I stopped and restarted. Shall I restart mine? Yeah, go on. I'll do this. I'll do the commentary. Yeah. Okay. So there's there's a there's a whole lot of grass. It's kind of green. It's a big area there. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's some guy clapping his hands. I don't know who he is. So he's probably one of theirs. There's Super Jack. Yeah. He's thinking, I've got to get ready to steal this goal. The ball is up. Ollie's fighting for it. Oh. Yeah. They get it clear. That's back. Come on, Trez. Well in, Trez. Oh, Sanson, a couple of quick balls trying to play it forward. Oh, oh no. Actually, it was Louise, I think. Come on, come on. Be careful. Be careful. Right. That's Everyone's me. Everyone's saying in the chat that we do not deserve to be winning, Grandad. Um, so they people are saying that we're getting smashed. I don't know how. It's still okay. nil-nil. But... They have had a lot. I think we've had one shot, which obviously is very poor. I don't think that's helped. That's oh, cool. God, that's a free kick. What the hell? What the hell? What did he do then? There's... What so are you the on now? Oh, God, he's just he's just chopped Sanson down. What mate are you on now? Although I can't see for a second. Oh, look at that. He's just absolutely floored Sanson. Oh, that is That's bad, good. actually. That was a terrible tackle. Well, I'll tell you something. Sanson's pulling himself about a bit. You can see he's in this game, can't you? So whoever that was who said, let's give Sanson a go, mate, you're right. Yeah? Good for you. What minute are you on now, then? Um, 88.21. Okay. 23, 24. Yeah, you're ahead of me by about five seconds. Oh, McGee's just got booked. Oh, no, no, Sanson's just got booked. What? Oh, that was McGee, wasn't it? Oh, no, it was Sanson. Well, you know what? It's good that he shows that he's not going to be bloody put on. Good lad. We don't care. Uh, 43 I'm viewers in here, guys. Nil, nil. Only a couple minutes left of the game. Villa have not on, had a good Villa. performance. Come on, Villa. Let's fight it out. Let's fight it out. Come on, Villa. Give them nothing. Nothing. Give on, Villa. I think the people believe Grandad because the numbers and views have rose towards the end. So hopefully come on, come they on, believe come we come believe. On, come on. Block them. That's the way. Come on, guys. All hands to the pumps. Unbelievable. Yeah, we are unbelievable. Well done, Fly Toxic. Yeah, Fives back in the Premier League. Mm, okay. Um, yeah, absolutely demolished, Toxic. Yeah, we are demolishing them. Yep, yep, you're right. These guys, I love the way they're just agreeing with me. Um, I'm a neutral and I'm getting smack. Oh, no, mate, you keep your private things to yourself. Yeah. Um, God, I froze again. Where are we going? Where are we going here? Brighton missed Bong, who got Murray. Oh, I can't know. Oh, Nambre. Oh, it's Boris Johnson. Oh, Boris Johnson's in. Hello, mate. You okay? <laughs> Can we come out of lockdown? I'm on 90 minutes now. Yeah, I'm four seconds behind. Yeah. Right. So we're okay. Right. Let's just. There Three can't minutes. be that much stoppage time, can there? Extra Three time. minutes. Really? With Trezeguet just gave away a stupid foul near the edge of the box. Oh. 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 They were, going, they were going nowhere with it. Yes, that's a silly foul. That is definitely a foul. And it was, it was, it was just like nowhere, was it? He? he was just nowhere near the ball or anything. How stupid is that? Toxic says if Brighton win today, it's daylight robbery. Yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, it's like you're having the race. It's a free kick. Oh my god, if Brian don't win this daylight robbery. Yeah, that's a but well, it's not daylight robbery, guys, is it? It's night time. What are you thinking? Mm -hmm. right. <sighs> oh, come on, Villa. Th two minutes left of time. We need to get a last minute winner, please. Just go all out, just go for it. Trossard on the edge of the box here with a free kick. Very good position for him. Martinez, come on. Martinez, come on. Come on, Villa. Come on. 
Trossard so in we the wall, straight into the wall, but it's Martinez with an easy save. <sighs> That'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, so it's got to be Martinez, I would suggest. Arsenal for life says beating Brighton, not for everyone. Not losing to Villa is not for everyone either, mate, to be honest. Let's be honest. Grande, do you put people in a freezer? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, only if only if they want. Okay, like, come on, come on, Villa. Come on, one minute left, boys. We got this. Whew. Someone says, great channel. Yes, I agree. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Lucas Thank Williams, you. shout out to you, my friend. Come on, one minute left, boys. And we've lost the ball again, as usual. This game has been so poor. And... The, waste, the wastefulness of it has been amazing, hasn't it? I don't think I've seen us give away the ball so easy for a long time. We've, we've fought hard and we've had moments, but we just haven't been able to get the flow going. It's really weird. But maybe you just got to just, just say Brighton have been, they've proven a hard team to beat all season, haven't they? I mean, people have beat them because they're 16th place, but they are, they, they are resilient, I'm afraid. And it's just, oh, come on. There we go. Nil, nil. Full time. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, Boris Johnson wants to shout out. Yeah, hi, Boris. Yeah, Thomas yes. is talking to you, Kai. Yeah, me and me and Isaac are God on co ops, but anyway, that's it. 56 viewers in, guys, and that was not good. Brighton had 15 to 20 shots, I'd say. We had maybe three at maximum. We gave the ball away cheaply. Martinez made some absolutely fantastic saves, three worldy saves. And it just wasn't good, was it, Granddad? It wasn't good enough. And um... you know what? I think if you look at the teams, you know we played we played much better against the top teams, haven't we? Right? We played well against like, Liverpool, obviously, but we played well against Arsenal. We played well against United. Shouldn't have lost. I think we played well against Spurs. I think so. We we played well against the top teams, ones that want to play football. I think this is a doggy tough kick you off the park team like Burnley, like Palace to a degree. Uh, yeah. Sheffield United, I guess, are going to be fighting. Albion, of course. And I think they, in some ways they're harder to beat, aren't they? You know, they just they just don't want to play. They just want to kick you around. Uh, they do create chances. We saw with Burnley, for all their bully boy tactics, they won the game. So this is a game we could easily have lost. And I think what we got a point. We're coming away. What's that, 36 points now? So, yeah, oh, you can't complain. You know, we don't deserve to win. Uh, I'd have been disappointed if we lost, but uh, I'll take a point. I'll take a point. Yes. Right. Okay, um, thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys. Um, that is going to be the end of the stream. I might do a video next, next midweek because, obviously, this is a live, so it does count as a video, but I might do a video next midweek. But we will be here versus Leicester right. on the 22nd of February, so tune in. But... Poor performance today. We lost the ball too many times. Defensively, we weren't as good as we usually were. Martinez was sick today. Brighton played very well as well, to be fair. You've got to give credit to them. But... Right, final point. Final point. We got a point and we've gone ahead of Spurs with a game in hand. True. Very true. Can we have another stream next week? Yes, we can. Of course we can. Right. Thank you guys for watching so much. We had about 30 to 50 viewers, 60 viewers, the whole of the stream, which is uh, a massive improvement from uh, like when we first started streaming. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe. Thank you, Granddad, for coming on, as always. Very much appreciate it. Um, and were we lucky to get away with the point? Maybe you could say, but... A point to point, Brighton. We haven't got to play them for the rest of the season. Very good team. And yeah, up the villa. And we've already got more points than we did the whole of last season, which is what matters. And um, yeah, cheers, granddad. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks, guys. Ta -ra, bye. Bye.